Storm Tracker Center for a look at our Wednesday forecast, and hopefully the weather will be perfect for our Parade of Lights event. Well, it's going to be very wet today and very cold, but once we go to the afternoon, the rain will begin to clear out of the area. But again, this morning it's looking pretty cold. 34 degrees right now in Redding, 37 in Chico, 44 still in Oroville, and then teens and 20s in the Sierra, 30s and 40s if you're in Trinity County. As for the highs we're going to be seeing today, much colder today than what we saw yesterday. Highs only hitting the mid 40s for some of you in the valley. For the farther south towards Sacramento, you go, you do have a higher likelihood of hitting 50 degrees. But overall, in our area, we look to stay in the 40s across the valley, and then highs only hitting the 30s in the mountain locations, just getting a few degrees above freezing. Now, we also have this big system off the coast. It is about to make landfall, bringing plenty of rain and snow with this system for our morning today. We're already seeing plenty of those showers, mainly the heavy showers are just northwest of Sacramento, but of course, the heaviest shower we're looking at near our area is moving towards Yuba City uh, right now near Highway 99, and that is just east of I-5, uh, also getting uh, Calusa a little wet and Cranmore as well. We're also looking at another shower, which has just uh, moved through Orland. It is now moving towards Corning and going north on I-5. This will probably move towards Redding, which is at 34 degrees. It's also colder higher up in the atmosphere, which means Redding could see some snow before the sun rises. Now, we do have a winter weather advisory in those mountain locations, both in the coastal ranges and in the Sierra. We're looking at about 5 to 10 inches of snow. Uh, snow levels will be around 4,000 feet, but we can't expect up to 18 inches of snow and maybe even 2 to 4 inches of snow down to 3,500 feet for accumulations. But if Redding sees snow, we're not looking like it will accumulate for you. But of course, that'll have plenty of impacts slippery roads, snow covered roads, and reduced visibilities. But how long will this rain last? Well, it will continue through your morning and into the early afternoon. Once we get into the evening, though, the rain does subside. But once we get to tomorrow, we do have another system moving into the area, bringing us more rain. But today is Bake Cookies Day. You want to go bake those cookies? Well, it's a great day for it. Definitely make sure to stay inside because it's going to be very cold all day. You'll need your jacket if you're heading out the doors. I would just stay inside and eat those warm cookies with a high of only 48 degrees. But if you do have to hit the roads today, make sure to bring the umbrella with you because you will be seeing rain through your morning and the early afternoon. As for a seven-day forecast in Chico, I have 46 degrees for today. A pretty good likelihood of rain today. Once we go to Thursday, the rain starts to let up a bit. Then Friday's looking a little drier. Once we go to Saturday, also notice Friday. 58 degrees for a high, so that's the warmest day of the week. We do cool back down on Saturday with another system moving in. And then winter officially starts on Sunday, looking colder. Still some rain possible in that forecast. The first full day of Hanukkah will be on Monday. It does start Sunday night, but the first full day is Monday, looking like a high of 52, maybe a scattered shower or two, and then the rain begins to subside on Tuesday for Christmas Eve. As for Redding, a high of 43 degrees today. Could see a mix of wintry precipitation in the morning, but then rain in the uh, or later in the morning and in the afternoon. By Thursday, you're still looking at a good rain chance in Redding. Once we go to Friday, we do have a 40% chance of some showers. Saturday, another widespread rain system moves into the area. It lingers into Sunday, the first day of winter. Then the first full day of Hanukkah on Monday, we do have a chance for some isolated showers, and those stick around for Tuesday on Christmas Eve. Julia, back to you. All right, Brian, thanks. We are just days away from winter and seasonal weather that could prove deadly. One city is taking the offensive. And the holiday rush is here, but there are some tech tricks to help ease your holiday hustle.